Sophia from Island Sentero. This video is going to be the first video in a new series that I'm calling Tree of Tarot Leaf by Leaf, where I'm going to go through all of the cards in um, one by one for each video, all of the cards from the tarot deck. And I've pulled from eight different decks to show, in this instance, eight different examples of the Fool. And we're just going to talk about some of the meanings and feelings that I may have for the card and then also the different artwork for these eight decks that I have chosen. So let's just get started. So I'm going to use these eight decks for this whole series as we go through and I'm going to try and do one of these a week. So first I have the Hanson Roberts Tarot. The Druid Craft tarot, the star child tarot, <clears throat> the fairy tarot, shadowscapes tarot, oh, I'm running out of room, I'm so sorry, oak, ash, and thorn, Let's scooch everybody over just a little, Darkness of Light, and the Crow Tarot. So what are some things that we automatically think of when we see the Fool card in a reading? Freedom, potential, innocence, beginnings, faith. We sort of have, you know, the whimsy of youth, maybe a fresh start being spontaneous, feeling uninhibited, embracing the folly of youth, and being true to yourself, brave with no fear, because you have not experienced fear. So the fool travels through the life stages and changes and challenges of the rest of the major arcana. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's my daughter. So traditionally, these are, um, I'm sorry, these are all based on Rider Waite Smith. It's just, I wanted to show a range of different art styles, for examples, but if we think about some more traditional style decks, sometimes the fool was portrayed historically as a jester or a joker. Both of those figures can be seen as having no identity. And then also having a sort of madness about them. So the meaning has changed into a little bit more of this freedom and innocence, new beginnings. Right? So for the Hanson Roberts, some more traditional things are depicted like the stick with, you know, meaning of the desire and will with their belongings attached, their previous experiences potentially in those belongings, the white rose symbolizing their spirit, his spiritual wants and hopes. So in this card, there is no companion depicted. In the original, there is a dog. Then we have the druid craft. There is a greyhound here. A guide and protector. You almost get the sense of a troubadour feeling that can be connected to a bard or also, also, excuse me, a gesture as well. Within the thought of a bard or troubadour, you kind of have that innocent fun, but that has a serious intent. In some situations, a jester or a bard could get away with saying 
joking or singing about something that maybe not everybody could get away with in a traditional court-like setting, right? This card reminds me of dawning of a new day, which gives you that new cycle This guidebook from the Druid Craft does talk about the feathers in the cap, how they are from a hen. And how that could be a reference to the goddess. So the next, we have the Dreamer from the Fairy Tarot. And on the card itself, it says, embrace your true purpose, begin a new adventure, trust yourself, believe in yourself. Beginning a journey, guided and protected, take a risk. We do have this companion, the dog here, sort of leading the way. There's a little bit more of a sense of potential in this one or um, positivity and potential because there's a path here leading up with the dog signaling the way instead of the more traditional that we just saw in the Druid craft stepping off this cliff. Then we have the Star Child Tarot and the Fool is the Star Seed. You really feel that inner spark deep within with her eyes closed like this. She's gathering that bravery or that gumption for that new path or journey. This card really makes me feel like you need to trust your inner thoughts, your inner compass. You can kind of feel that with the star seed, that seed of inspiration, she's gathered this magic within her hands and that inner strength that she has to go on this new journey. It's really gorgeous. So even though this card is not as traditional as some of these others, renamed as the Star Seed, you can see how it integrates beautifully with the tradition, more traditional meanings of the Fool. Next, I have Shadowscapes. I absolutely love this like wild abandoned look of this card. There's that freedom of feeling and desire. Standing upon this precipice caught in the moment with the wind and the fluttering of the wings. The birds are almost holding her back. But then we have this clever fox companion observing the pleasure and the passion. Will the fox and his cleverness be her guide? Gorgeous depiction. Then I have the Oak, Ash, and Thorn tarot. Now, I don't know any better way to portray utter innocence than a baby deer. <laughs> Just absolute innocence, youth, this fawn is trusting that the forest, that its habitat will take care of it because there is no fear yet. And as classic as it is, or cliche, however you want to look at it, look at Bambi. Did he know that the hunters were out there and they were going to get him? No. That is the no fear. Does the fool know better? No, maybe not. So blinded by that passion and that zest for life that they don't see that cliff that they're stepping off of is that forest going to provide is this path going to take them where they want to go so that brings you to trusting in yourself next i have the darkness of light tarot and I really love this one because this is, um, you know, an ocean in the background, stepping off the cliff here. I do like the dog, it looks very serene. 
We do have the traditional satchel with this um, stick or pole. That dog looks so loyal. Will the dog alert this fool of the danger ahead? But the fool is looking towards the future, imminently in danger already, showing that youthful innocence. The vast expanse of the ocean could be a unconscious power. I do love the kind of sun behind the fool with the clouds showing, kind of gives you that um, positive and negative, just like the deck is called darkness of light, positive and negative, negative and positive. Really gorgeous as well. And then last I have the Crow Tarot. And this one is a little different. So you see the crow here standing on a log kind of floating. I'd like to think that there's a little bit of a current, like there's a, the start of a journey um, down like a river or a stream maybe with these flowers, these lotus. But you really get the sense of air with this card. And this crow is displaying a sense of fearlessness. Landing on this log, floating in a stream, down a river, what have you. That is no fear again. That crow has faith, inner faith in itself, to balance on this log, to go on this new journey. And I think that's really gorgeous as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed some of this information. I really thought that it would be fun just to take a look at a few different decks through all the cards and look at some of the, you know, general thoughts and feelings, just like with The Fool, how you automatically think of that innocence, folly, new beginnings. But I really just wanted to look at some different artwork, gather it all together so you can see it like this and just have a little chat about it. So in the comments below, maybe let me know some decks that you, decks that contain maybe your favorite fool and why. I would love to see some of those comments and hear about some of your favorite fool cards from your deck collection. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.